do you ever think back to someone that you dated but it never developed into a full relationship and you just want to like grab their head and like shake it violently <laughs> maybe not violently like vigorously and just be like why don't you love me <laughs> because i haven't Today, um, I've started moving the stuff. Um, the room doesn't look much empty, but we're gonna go to the studio later and move some stuff from the studio. I've just sold a bunch of my plants. It looks like there are still a lot of plants, but somebody's coming to get like 75% of these. It feels quite bittersweet. I'm just trying to learn to enjoy it whilst it's happening. Cause I feel like every time you settle into the routine, you start craving change. And every time change is happening, you crave the stillness and the mundane. Yeah, I'm excited. When I was 22, I had this goal that I would be making six figures by the time I was 25. I'm sorry, but knowing what I know now, it's funny. And if I don't laugh, I will cry. I also know that every teenager slash young adult with a dream to be a designer is just as crazy because you have to be to be going after something where the odds are pretty stacked up against you. Prior to this move, I was working as a freelance pattern cutter. I don't know if I picked the wrong industry or my personality just in reality doesn't suit it, but I found it incredibly hard to make enough money to have any saved over doing what I was doing. I also realized that I kind of did not want to be doing that anymore in reality I think I only started doing it because I have the skills and the space for it and people asked me to so I thought there was sufficient demand however there was a lot of things that I did not know that I didn't even know and it's quite a lonely profession we've packed the car we're going to my mom's house as soon as I realized this that's when I thought my first step needs to be cutting costs and making space to pivot in place of freelancing I'm going to be working for my mother at her takeout until I basically can make enough money to stop doing that but I also know having a parent who can give me a job is a privilege in itself so I'm not complaining something I want to get better at is to not feel the urge to have something on in the background it's kind of like one of those ongoing things that you have to keep your attention and like actively try to not do this is what modern technology has done to us someone just came to pick up the plants that shelf and then there were two no. i'm pretty sure that this has expired i put too much liquid He's done. That took forever. When life changes, so much less predictable. It's not like you're in school and you know like, oh, this is gonna be my class next year. There are no rules, absolutely none. And it's almost like there's a paradox of choice, for me at least. Because there are no rules, like I could do anything. Like, I could literally do anything. I learn how to do quantum physics one day. Like, I technically could. Would I really be any good at it? Probably not. You can do anything. Of course, like, there are financial limitations and all of that. I don't know why I'm, where I'm going with this, but making new friends. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> I think I've reached a point where I don't want to make my own relationship anymore. I would kind of just like Jesus take the wheel and if it happens then it, then it happens. But I'm really sick of trying to curate this man and manifest him into my life. Like, whether he's on his way and he's like fumbling in the bushes because he's trying to sort his own life out, then great. But yeah, for now, I'm super content. Did you overbake it? But, okay, I might have, but the problem with some bean cakes, they're a bit like crumbly. Some things. Mmm. Maybe a nine. Mmm. Really nice. <laughs> Balance. Oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> gonna continue moving a few things from the apartment today a little bit sad but 
is gonna happen the time is ticking so let's get a move on when it comes to my relationships, I feel like I'm in a bit of a unique situation in the sense that I'm not leaving my friends behind. I'm actually moving closer to them. Pretty much all of my friends stayed living at home when they finished university. Last week, I hosted a brunch, something I could never do while in London because the real estate prices would simply punish you for wanting a separate dining space. I love hosting and getting time to spend time with my friends. And the fact that I am so close in proximity to them now meant that so many of them could actually come. And that is something that living in the city he just can't give you. This is the current situation. All the plants. It's a bit of a mess in here. When it comes to romantic relationships, well, I am chronically single right now, so a man's opinion wasn't something I had to take into consideration when I made the move. So let's all say thank you, mummy and my stepdad. They have been coming in the evenings because a few days ago I was like, I'm so tired, like, I can't do it anymore. I was just complaining about it. Did not expect her to take on the task, but this room is now so empty and I am so so grateful sometimes i feel like i can be a belly button girl but i don't think it's in my genetics if you see my rolls are rolling look away all right i am lucky enough that i have a great relationship with my mother now however it wasn't always like this it was actually one of my main reasons for moving out in the first place if i'm being honest however over the years it's almost like living away from her made that relationship stronger being ethnic and interested in a creative career was not something that was ever supported in my household and i didn't really understand why fully when i was younger however now i can't help but feel incredibly fortunate because i know that they were just worried that it would not provide me with enough financial stability jokes on me they were kind of right i'm a little mad at myself I'm supposed to be out of here today. It's still a state. You know when you're just like on the last bit of doing something and the procrastination? Today we're gonna get it together. We're gonna get everything in the car. All of it has to go. One thing I've learned about moving is that there is no demure or considerate way of doing it. You just have to pick up everything you see and put it in a box or a bag and get it into the vehicle. The whole thing feels pretty manly. I mean, is that not why it's called manual labor? That is one of the downsides of being single, I will say. Cute cleaning montage. It's incredibly easy to see something like this as a setback, especially when that's also what society tells you. But I want to see this as a really positive thing. At first, for sure, I was a little upset that my life was going to look less like Carrie Bradshaw's, but maybe also I shouldn't build it based on fake TV characters that just pay for their homes with their friend's engagement ring from their failed marriages because they bought too many shoes. This move should hopefully give me more mental space to think about where I see my life going long term without worrying about the state of my finances each month. I haven't given up on the pursuit of my huge grandiose dreams. And you shouldn't either. This period of my life reminds me of that quote by James Clear. You do not rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. I did not rise to my goals, so I'm trying to build new systems. Welcome back guys to my empty room now. Um, there's about two things in here that belong to me. I feel like it's an end of an era. I've been living here for about three years. I've had my heart broken a few times in this house. I've fallen in love once and i kind of grew up in this room like i've lived here for three and a half years now and it pretty much housed my entire early 20s and i feel like i grew so much in these four walls like literally because i never left my house it's a bit sad but i'm really excited i don't think i have anything interesting to say anymore so we'll leave it here <laughs> 